Hello, my name is Mustard and I present to you today a video that some of you will not be interested in, but some of you will. Beside me here is a Rover 420 GSI Tora, known as Toby Charles. It is 28 years and 9 months old. Half leather seats and a 2 litre 136 brake horsepower T-Series engine. It is, to me, the ultimate Rover. Why? The R8 being possibly the best Rover that they made, the best colour, the best trim, the best engine, and being the Tora, the rarest one as well. And it's a GSI. And it's my car. I came very, very close to selling this car just a couple of weeks back to a man named Sheldon. Uh, I was desperate. I was, I was desperate. It's, it's useful to have something like this knocking about as an asset that you can just sell when you really need the money. But I'm glad I didn't sell it because now I want to keep it again. Next month it is my plan to put this car back on the road as a treat to myself. And uh, I mean it's MOT, it just needs taxed. I just, it's £28 a month and for a car that I just don't really use that seems like quite a lot. But as a treat, next month I am going to use it. But what I want to do is correct a few scratches and blemishes on the paintwork. It's a long way from being perfect, and it won't be perfect, not with a complete respray. But I can make it nicer, for sure. Today is Friday the 26th of January, which gives me until next Tuesday try and sort these things out. Blemishes on the paint aren't the most critical of things are they but it just happens to be the thing that I'm happy to tackle. So I'm going to show you the bits I'm going to try and do. All around this car you'll find marks. These actually are dead. They're not marks they just want washing off. But we have here a little bit of lacquer peel. We have there some abrasive marks along the front wing here. There was a scratch that I kind of mended, but it doesn't look that great. So I want to mend it a bit more. Then we have more abrasive marks there. Um, something's eaten into the paint there and there. There is some something there that I'm not going to touch because it, it will show itself to be needing a new bonnet and start messing it up. Down the side there are quite a few small scratches but it's better than it was this time last year the whole side of this car was really rough where it'd been driven through brambles and the like and it doesn't you know it, it really taken the shine off the bonnet has many a scratch on it but it's more the scuff marks i'm concerned with like like that there I have many other jobs to do and many more important things to be doing as well and that's why this video is going to be made over the next week. The plan is for this video to just go alongside all the other video stuff and all the other jobs I happen to be doing uh, so you end up with a video at the end that hasn't interrupted anything else. Where should I start? Well, I'm going to start on something that's going to need a little bit of lacquer. So that I'm going to do this part there, and I'm going to do that part just there. That bit um, wants to do a bit more carefully. But that rough bit there, I've just rubbed it back and had a quick blast of lacquer over it. Again, I'll leave that for a few days and then just buff it back if it needs it. Doesn't even look like it needs it actually. Doing one at a time is easier. So next one. Well, that there, that had uh, quite a few little scratches in there and I just dabbed some paint in the gaps. So I'm going to just gently rub it back and then Put a bit of lacquer on it. 
Oh, with this instance, I could actually try and just simply rub it back. <laughs> and it's still there, but it's not as bad as it was. And so today is the 1st of February and that means Toby Charles is coming out to play. That means clearing the boot of Toby Charles of all of the Timu stuff and the spray gear ready to go to work. Whereas Nigel will now take up residence in the lockup where over the next month in a very separate video to this one I shall attend to every single scratch I can and then ceramic coat it. Must confess to being a little fastidious when it comes to this car on the inside. But although it's been inside, it's had stuff in the boot and that has caused just a little bit of a trap. It's not damp though. So easy to clean this car. The benefits of proper carpet. A little while ago, my friend called Carl, not fixed it Carl in a VW, but no, the other always buying cars Carl, gave me this set of sandstone genuine Rover 400 series mats, which I thought would be perfect for Toby Charles. Unfortunately, they don't fit. It's these rear mats that are just too big. They need a cut out there. My assumption, well, maybe these are for the 400 HHR. But then I've just had a look inside Boaty's car, which uh, is a 45, and they don't fit that either. Ready to go back out again, Toby? I'm sure you are. This is a bit of a treat, actually. My birthday treat. Does anybody remember when I first got this car? And I had my first drive in it around Milne Road before I'd fixed the damage. And I was really chuffed to bits with it. And I just thought, I have here the car that I've always wanted. Being a fan of the R8 shape, to have the Tourer version and the GSI as well, I was absolutely chuffed to bits. So, isn't it a shame it's had so little use? In fact, less than a thousand miles since I uh, acquired it. Less than a thousand. But that'll be changing. Gosh, it really feels great to be in it again. When was the last time I drove it? Months back. It was October. It was the last time this car was out of the yard. And the time before that, um, July, I think. Really needs some petrol in it. So let's put some of the good stuff in. I'm going to 
draw an end to this video. Although it's not really got started, or so it feels. Basically started off trying to make the car look really good for when I take it back on the road. That was five days ago. And uh, then we're not getting around to do anything else with it. I am tempted to talk about what the car is doing for me, how much I'm enjoying it, but I'm going to save it because I have decided that I shall do a proper 420 GSI Touring review. Why not? I might actually get some views on it. Well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? So, um, let's leave it with, I'm really, really happy to be back in this car. Really happy, I'm really enjoying it. And thank you very much for sticking with me and sticking with the channel on this particular video and thank you for my new channel members and thank you for the existing channel members and thank you for those that have been gifting channel members and thank you for liking this video and thank you for watching it and uh, sharing it lots of thanks all round